So hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hello. Good evening. Yeah. Welcome to this another precious session for today. And it's a launch event for GEG Punjab and GEG Amritsar. And Narjit ma'am is the leader for it. Congratulations ma'am for this today's session. Mala ma'am being the co-leader. Uh, congratulations to you as well. Uh, Reshma, please say Hello, some words for man. Narjit. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we are very excited. So, uh, Narjit, congratulations on the GEG Punjab and Amritsar uh, launch today. And I would really like to tell a little bit about Narjit. I have never seen a more uh, passionate educator like this. I met her after 20 years in September when I launched GEG Pune. And she was so excited to hear about all this concept and what is all this going on. She started actually with her level one, level two. She did her trainer. She started training her teachers in her school. And today she is launching her own GEG in her city and her state. So congratulations and all the best to you, Narjeet. And now we also have uh, people whom I got inspired from. So I'm actually joining from US. And when I looked at what I did a few months back, I met these great people from Global GEG. So, this is a whole uh, a family of global in all around the world, I would say. And uh, we have Stephanie and we have Louis, and they are both the co-founders of Global GEG. So we'll be talking with them uh, pretty soon, uh, but I will give it over to Narji to talk about her GEG and we will all be uh, backstage. Right, Narji? Yeah. So on okay. this, I mean, uh, sorry for taking the, uh, the time. On this auspicious day of Gori Parva, we are launching this GEG Amritsar and Punjab. So we are so glad and we are so excited to have this launch event on this particular day. So yes, Narjit ma'am, let's let's launch for it. Yeah, Abit is joining. Yes, Hello, that's Abed. right. Hi, Abit. So we have one have, more co-founder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, go on, go on, go on, Rishma. So we have another co-founder, and this is our first uh, Indian launch where all the founders are ready to join in. So we are very Great. excited. Thank you, uh, Abid, uh, and Stephanie, and Louis for joining in. So, uh, Narjit, you may introduce yourself. Yeah, hello and good evening. Welcome to the launch of GEG Amritsar in Punjab. I'm really very excited to be here with all of you today, initiating this wonderful, wonderful venture. I would really call it a start of a wonderful journey. The journey, my journey, which began with all the people who are present on the screen right now and all those who are going to join us in this live session today and also all those who will, will be joining us in days to come. So uh, before we move further, I really want to wish a very happy Guri Parva, Bisaki, and uh, that is a very, very, very auspicious day for us here in India. This day is a harbinger of new life, uh, new aspirations, new hopes, new projects. And for me, it is all the more important since I'm going to begin a whole new chapter of my life today. So uh, it is for uh, my foreign guests here. It is a new year in India, almost a new year, a new year day. And it's a very auspicious day. So Sastrikal Ji, all those who are joining me from Punjab and Amritsar, Sastrikal Ji Ayanu, and uh, I once again welcome you all. And here I go with the launch. And after we launch, we shall take this launch event pop. Over to you, Rish. So here we are. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. I once again welcome all the guests who have just joined us. 
to this launch session. I am so glad that you could join us today. I'm really, really glad to have you all. And I'm really happy that we have been granted these GEGs, GEG Punjab and Amritsar. I'm also joined by Mala Ma'am today, Miss Mala. She is the co-leader of GEG Punjab and Amritsar. I am Dr. Narjeet, educator with 15 years of varied instructional experiences. Um, I have had good opportunities to create a lot of courses in education for children, for teachers, synchronous, asynchronous. I'm also a resource person for CBSE, a published author, of course, a Google certified trainer and educator, uh, though in uh, not uh, that, that sequence, a recipient of uh, many prestigious awards for the work in the field of education, a podcast creator, a blogger, soft skill trainer, career coach, image consultant, and now very proudly leader and founder of GEG Punjab and Amritsar. You know, before I move forward, I truly would like to uh, sincerely thank my friend Reshma, leader and founder of GEG Pune, for having nominating me and giving me this kind of an inspiration to start a regional GEG. You know, I never get tired of mentioning uh, the start of my journey with Reshma, who is my, well, childhood friend. And all thanks to Google, for connecting us after a period of uh, 20 long years. You know, I saw her Facebook post one day with her level one certification, and she was all charming on the screen with her laptop and uh, posing off. And I, I got all intrigued, like, what is that? It was one day in September, that day last year, when I did not have any clue of what Google certifications were all about. And it is today that I'm launching my own GEG group. So thank you, Reshma, for everything, for all that. And I am also very thankful to Dr. Vishal Varya for being on this journey with me, guiding me, supporting me, encouraging me all the way here. His valuable insights have really made my path all the more easy. So I have already welcomed uh, Mala Ma'am also joining us on this event, co-leader, a very enthusiastic educator, and a very passionate learner. She's a computer science PGT here in one of the schools in New Delhi. And uh, again, I welcome you all to this session. And uh, also I would like to introduce you to this wonderful community of GEGs. Uh, Ishma, if you could have uh, the slides there, uh, which help us bring all the local uh, educators together in person and also online to learn to share and to inspire one another so Narchit, uh, you can handle your uh, presentation you can uh, keep moving skipping to the next slide all right i'll do that it's already shared so you, yeah, perfect. yeah 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 okay all good so yeah all good all good so here i am here is mala ma'am here we are hi everyone those who have joined just now and here I am going to talk about uh, GEGs. I was telling you that it's a wonderful, wonderful com uh, community of GEGs that help bring local educators together in person and online. And the motive is to learn, share, inspire one another. Uh, many of you, well, might be new to this term GEG or GEGS, as we most of us call it. Well, it is a Google, edu a Google Educator group. It stands for those groups that connect passionate educators to share, to discuss, to collaborate, sharing their awesome experiences, discussing how new tools can make them all the more strengthened educators. Well, and what they share are the benefits of technology to schools, to classrooms, and to communities across the world, both online and at locally run events offline. Right now, we are all online because the situation is really bad and what a year this has been. Uh, but all thanks to this year also, I have learned a lot of things. So uh, with due respect to everybody, all those who have maybe suffered also, this year has really been one year where I have had a lot of opportunities and I have grabbed those. I have uh, come up with these groups that provide a forum for educators to collaborate again, to support each other, to make their classrooms more interesting. I would say to turn their classrooms into uh, happy classrooms, creating a positive environment, facilitating growth and development. 
So, well, these past and for the one year that we've been online, what better way to connect than under and through our GEGs? So the name GEG Amritsar and uh, Punjab, it might suggest that, uh, you know, we are, uh, we are only in a specific city or the specific state, but that's not so. So anybody from India or across the globe can join any GEG. You may be a principal, a school administrator, a professor, a student, or someone interested in using Google tools to foster learning, or simply someone who loves implementing technology. If you are one of them, then GEG is just a place for you. So I hope you are all excited to be here with us. And we shall be sharing our registration link in the chat so that you can join us, not only to learn, but also to share with all of us. These registrations will also help us to keep you updated with all the wonderful PD sessions that we are going to conduct in the weeks to come. So as GEGs, what we do is we plan a lot of uh, activities. We uh, plan a lot of PD sessions that empowers you, also makes learning immensely wonderful and joyous. And not only do we impart, we also learn so many things from you here. I now take this opportunity to welcome Stephanie Howell from Global Team of Voluntary Google Educator Group, who helps to inspire educational communities and make the world a smaller, better place, as they call. So she's been working in uh, Pinkerton schools, if I'm calling it correct, since 2014, and has spoken at conferences such as ISTE, ITIP and OETC and her most recent achievements are being a part of the team named ISTE's Distinguished District. She's won lots and lots of leadership awards, WOSU Leadership Award to name one. She's a Google innovator and Stephanie also has masters in curriculum and instruction and educational leadership. She's also one of the founding members of Global GET. Welcome Stephanie, we are all glad to have you among us. And over to you, she's going to share more inputs and more insights on what global GEGs are all about. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here and I am so glad that you guys are getting this GEG up and running. Uh, such a huge accomplishment and just the amount of people you are going to inspire and encourage is really amazing. So keep up the awesome work. Um, so I'm here to talk about Global GEG, which is a really fun um, organization. And we've got Luis and Avid. And it looks like Luis was doing like a stretch, but I'm going to say he was celebrating. OK, let's say that. I was stretching, but yes, we can say that. It looked like a celebration. Like, it looks like a stretch. <laughs> and, and yay, get Punjab. Yay. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and look at what Global GEG is. So Global GEG started with a vision and a mission um, from six founders. The mission was, how do we start a GEG? And we kind of were talking to each other like, Luis, you are the only GEG leader. What did you do and how did you do it? And can you nominate all of us? Um, and so we just started having these conversations about what, what is a GEG? What does this look like? I love when Avid tells a story, so I'm going to let him continue the story with um, putting all of our logos on something. <laughs> um, well, for me, what was it? Global GEG start. I think it was uh, I became GEG UK leader uh, back in uh, January 2020, I think it was. And uh, I think once I became the leader, it kind of dawned on me as to, like, right what do we do about this and then and then you know we, we started to sort of, sort of put localized plans together and then obviously covid hit and then everything started to become virtual and it was like well we're doing everything virtually anyway we're all at home and we're all doing everything you know via google meet so you know um stephanie would you like to present for gg uk sure abid would you like to present for gg ohio Luis, would you like to present as well and then we started collaborating so much uh, 
amongst so many different GEGs globally that um, we were doing posters and uh, putting everyone's logos and the posters and the entire poster would just be filled up with different GEG logos. And I was like, this is getting ridiculous now. Let's, let's just change it to global GEG. And that's kind of how it just kicked off. And um, we've had such an amazing uptake with global GEG over the, over the last year. And we've inspired so many... Uh, leaders and and educators around the world and 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 it's it's just been phenomenal uh just the take up yeah it's been a really fun journey it's been crazy um and it's been really nice because we're able to hook into all these resources from amazing educators for example like Luis is amazing at spreadsheets plus other things uh, but he's really good at spreadsheets and I'm really not. So I can call up Luis and he has been able to like help me use spreadsheets with um, our organization in way more meaningful ways. He's done sessions on them and it's just been a huge way to just kind of gather together and use our community globally. Um, it was also really interesting when COVID hit. We were talking to our friends that we're in like China and all these other places because it hit them first. And we're like, what do we need to do? What do we need to prepare? What what do we need to tell our teachers? And they were able to help us because we had this global community. And I didn't even realize it was a need that I needed. <laughs> and um, the slide deck will be shared with you in the chat. So feel free to click open. You can click all of our um, little photos here. This is the founding team and you're able to go to all of our Twitter pages. Um, we do need to update stuff. So and you can kind of follow us, follow along with what's happening, see like upcoming events that we might be leading and that kind of stuff. Um, so feel free to join us on Twitter. Um, so again, we talked about earlier a little bit, what is a GEG? And so a GEG is that community of people. Anything else you wanna mention about a GEG, Luis? Well, um, one of the things that, that really, I've had lots of experience with GEGs. Uh, we ran, we used to run GEG Columbia because I'm from Columbia, by the way. Um, and uh, we used to run GEG Columbia a few years ago until it came up from on high that we had to change the GEGs from, from national to go a little more local. So I, I was forced to disband my group that was around 500 members large to something smaller. And right now I'm just running a GEG for my city and on, on the side, well, no, let's do it backwards. We're running Global GEG, and on the side, I'm running the one in my, in my city. And I'm also, uh, we were also nominated, all of us were nominated for GEG mentors. So not only that, but new groups in our area are also um, connected to us so that we can help them out in their process. So uh, uh, Stephanie up here is a mentor for Midwest United States. Uh, Abed down there is Emea, right? Abed, or am I wrong? Uh, no, that's Georgina. Is, is that uh, Georgina? You're not a mentor. Area. I thought you were a mentor. Uh, so no, I, I may, uh, I may be becoming a mentor soon. Um, he's an unlabeled mentor. Okay, he's he's a he's an honorary mentor. He he should be a mentor, and I'm a mentor. <laughs> I'm one of like three mentors for all of Latin America, and uh, we help other GGs grow and, and get started, which is always very helpful. And uh, GEGs have been wonderful so that we can, as a group, create a little more community and share our experiences because whatever problems you might be facing at the moment, we're sure that either somebody has faced them before or somebody's facing the same issues you are at the same moment. So it's always very helpful for lots of people to be trying to solve the same problems uh, with different types of imagination. And every time that you find different people who are just as crazy as you are, that's always very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so anybody can join and you can join multiple GEGs. Um, for example, like I am in the UK's GEG and I live nowhere close to London. Um, so you are able to be a part of as many GEGs as you want to be a part in. And it's really good because it does help you grow your perspective and your experience. Um, in education. You will build a community of different educators. You're going to have that PLN or PLF. Um, so you're building that family of educators that you can connect with. And then there's free online and offline events. Right now, it's mostly been online. 
Um, but once the COVID is over, the pandemic is done, hopefully there will be some in-person events as well. And so there is so many different events. So the, one of the perks about joining a GEG is you get all of this learning for free. Um, so I'm going to also take us to the Global GEG um, webpage. But while I'm getting that, Luis and Abid, do you want to talk about some of your favorite events Global GEG has led? Okay, we've had both serious events and fun events. And uh, fun events tend to be a little crazier and a little looser. So uh, we recent, well, recently was what, three months ago that we had the snack down or more. So we had, we, we've, <clears throat> we've done events that are lots of fun, but educational, which is the SmackDown with an M. And uh, in those, everybody shows, it's like a little demo slam and everybody shows, has one minute to show a new idea about something. And uh, we compete to see who has the best ideas. But then we evolve that into the SmackDown. So we did it with recipes for food. So we'd interchange, we'd exchange recipes with each other and we, somebody else would cook my recipe and then they would give their opinion on it. And then I would critique if they did it correctly or not. And everybody had such a good time and was so nice about it that all we did was compliment each other and nobody complained, but it was awesome. And we actually made a cookbook that's shared somewhere on our website. And we have a cookbook with all the different recipes for all the different things that we shared and all the strange little things that we had to do because for example i live in south america and the recipe that i got was a uh, vegan healthy non-gluten uh cookies and half of the ingredients i couldn't get down here because they're not available there's, there's just, so i don't get almond flour and i don't get all those weird things so i had to replace stuff but it was awesome and we had such a good time just sharing and having fun with each other abid what was yours um, I think the boot camp was was a great uh, was a great event that we did um, uh, where it was last June I think it was and I think how many views have we had on the boot camp now I think nearly thirty thousand views on the level one and level two boot camp and we had a leaderboard that um, Adam uh, really uh, really kindly did for us and uh, it was. Uh, we we did a, throughout a whole host of challenges on on Twitter in the weeks leading to the boot camp, and then during the boot camp, and then over the course of the three days that we did the boot camp, and uh, we, we've had so many people, uh, so many educators who have just connected with us on Twitter and then turned around and said, oh, you know, uh, thanks to Global GG for the boot camp, I've now gone on to do level one and level two, and some of them have even gone on to become Google Google certified trainers now as well, and. And it was such an exciting um, uh, series of events that we did. And, uh, you know, it, it boot, boot camps can be very, very serious, but we, we threw lots of fun and, uh, and interactive uh, games into it as well. And, and it, was just, it was just a really, really nice thing to do. Um, and, and it was especially during the time where lockdown was kind of at its heaviest and everyone was at home and everyone was feeling really horrible and nervous about COVID. Uh, and we were unsure about what was going on, and it was just a, a really nice escape from what was what was happening with, with a with a real productive um, end result. Uh, so I think boot camp was was definitely one of my favorite events. And adding to what Abid said, uh, when you say that when we say that we had thirty thousand views for for the boot camp, it doesn't sound like much, especially if you compare to those TikTok people and all those influencers and stuff. But if you consider that each boot camp session is four hours long it's amazing that people that 30 000 people have sat for four hours to watch our videos yeah definitely um so right here is our website and i just want to point out if you are interested in joining global geg we have a discussion group and you can ask questions on this discussion group you can um you can get email reminders of events that are coming up and then you can also join our calendar to see what is coming up as well. And then we're on all of the different socials. <laughs> so you can pretty much join any of the social medias, but right here is where you can see the upcoming events. And you can see these events are coming up. We have an event this um, coming Saturday 
And then um, we've got a couple other ones in queue to come up as well. And you can even go back and rewatch any of our sessions as well by going to the professional learning part of the website and you can go to all of the different recordings that have been done in the past. There's also the boot camps that Avid was talking about right here. So if you are interested in seeing the boot camp, it takes you to a whole nother website because there was so much information. We just kind of linked in a new website for that. We also have like our open um, trainer chats and Google coaches chats which I think we're going to talk a little bit in a, um, later about. So this is like level one and level two certification. This is a, becoming a Google trainer. And then this one is becoming the newest Google coach, which just recently um, launched this past year. And it's been just a really good place to have that community of people so that you're able to really connect with others and grow your PLN and ask those hard questions that you might have. Um, so feel free to look over any of these different websites or um, support if you do need any type of different support. We also did a beginner guide series. So if you're brand new to Google, there are all of these amazing videos that go over um, G Suite, which is now called Workspace. And you're able to go in, watch the um, presentations, review the slide decks, and learn the basics about Google. We also did a training series for students. Uh, this training student was a huge hit and it was a lot of fun organizing it. And we created a playlist so that it was just quick videos that parents and students could use. And again, um, we came with this idea of like, okay, I have this issue and my district's asking for this. And then Abbott's like, well, my district needs that. Luis is like, my district needs that. And because of that, we were able to come together and create this playlist of resources. And so we were able to use our PLN, um, our network, and everybody created one video for the series. And then you have all of these amazing videos ready to go um, for students and staff. And just a reminder, if you are interested in um, following us, make sure you join all of our different social media types. There's a link in the slide deck. If you click the icons, it will take you straight to all of those social media resources as well. And any questions about Global GEG or any other comments that you have, Luis or Abid? Um, what, one thing that I really like to mention to lots of people don't be scared of the first G in GEG, which is Google. Uh, you don't have to be a Google expert, uh, guru or anything weird because it's, it's, just, it's just like an excuse to get together. Sometimes people think that if they don't use Google for, for their school or if they don't really, aren't really interested, they're, 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 they're don't, they don't belong. But really it's just the exchange of ideas and the exchange of resources and, and the support of different people from all over. So just thinking of, you know, that thing, that word Google really scares people off and it really it shouldn't because it's just, it's just a community. And I wanna real quick, like these are all the amazing volunteers that help create Global. And there is no way we could do what we do without these amazing people. Um, so we're just so thankful. And if you are interested in coming and being a leader with Global GEG, there is a leader application form and we would love to have you join. Well, thank you so much. I don't see any questions in the chat. All I do see is a snack down um, with Indian food would be amazing. <laughs> Count me in. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I would really like to vouch for Global GEG. I am also a part of it, but I, I'm not able to give so much of time. But on, my, on the other side, I'm just helping GEGs grow more in India, which was actually lacking. So thanks to you all, because this is what I learned, just like Stephanie said last summer. Uh, when we all went into lockdown this is where even i started looking at some support around me where they can help me learn new things how do i implement this how do i do this and this is exactly where i started following global geg and these people are amazing and 
if you just go through the global geg website the youtube channel and like i i really really appreciate i don't know how from where you guys bring all this energy and time and everything from but it is it is mind blowing thank you so much for doing so much for the educator community dr varya we can't hear you actually i am really amazed and i'm uh, full of appreciation for all the kind of work that you guys do it's amazing amazing uh where do you get the time and energy to manage so many things i was just you know the other day i was having a conversation with reshma also okay hats off to you guys for managing so many things but it's wonderful wonderful it was really wonderful to hear you all and it was really wonderful okay i am uh, me reshma and dr varya included we are going to have an exchange of recipes now in the next session to follow we have we come from different states and we come from different parts of the country so that would be really interesting to have one session on that but include me out mm -hmm. because i'm a real bad cook but uh, other than that i can help so thank you so much well, and the best um, part is that jeet we we don't get to taste it so till we don't get to taste it you cannot say you're a bad cook you know uh, the the worst thing that our convents have taught us is uh, not to lie smartly we can't lie even smartly <laughs> coming from the same school both of us we know what we've been taught so yeah so recently uh, you know in india google has really made a big big push for education uh, it has partnered with cbse which is a central board for education with an aim to train 1 million teachers over 22000 schools across the country by the end of this year so this is an excellent excellent initiative taken by cbse and with the implementation of nep which is the new education policy 2020 it becomes all the more important that we have technically sound passionate educators and hence the importance of having more and more gigs in our country and this is my little contribution uh, to that i hope uh, the educators are going to get a lot of inspiration they are going to go for certifications they are going to go for a lot of uh, uh, you know establishment of new gigs here in india and google is going to um, you know take a good look at what we guys are doing here in india i i guess dr varya will agree with me here when we say that uh, you know yeah the cbsc and google both of them should know that we are really working hard and guys here i would like to tell you something google doesn't pay us for anything these are voluntary groups <laughs> and and uh, what we do is because we are educators and we want to empower others as well that's all that that's the only motive why we are doing so many things here right so let's move on to g speech for education which as stephanie said is now google workspace for education fundamentals a free suite of easy to use tools we've been using so many tools now uh, to provide a flexible and secure foundation for learning collaboration and communication so we have with us dr varya to explain more about the same though we are we have so many schools here in delhi i can talk about in delhi those who are using g suite and uh, they are using it very successfully those who are not using they are using many 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 tools for that but yes dr varya is going to explain more about the same he's an excellent excellent edu leader here in india a certified counselor a google educator a certified uh, trainer has a phd in education and is leading school management he is an educationist <laughs> having you, a value commitment you know and forever eager to learn new systems a very down to earth person one of the simplest one of the nicest persons we have met here and um, reshma and dr vishal varthi my one point they are one one point information for everything that i want so uh, they have really contributed lots of value and worth in the field of education and also he's the founder and leader of gg amdavad and gujarat india group so over to you dr varya thank you anjit ma'am and <clears throat> so very nice of of you to have the kind words and encouraging words for me and uh, yes I'll, we are all, all trying to prove our worth here as anjit ma'am said that uh, 
no, Google doesn't pay for this. We are actually self-motivated. And this particular concept is, no, Hindi mein agar bole to, jyot se jyot jala ke chalo. So, global ji ji ne hamari jyot jala di hai. Aur hum ab wahi kar rahe hai. We are just trying to empower every educator. We are trying to voluntarily play our part as an educator in this country, in the world, to just enable every teacher to reach out to every student in whatever manner they can. So technology here come, comes at our rescue. And with this technology, Google has given us, you know, a great resource. Like G Suit. G Suit is a complete compilation of all the applications that the teacher would need to have remote teaching and learning. So it's a pura Google applications, hai, Google G Suit, usko ek pura G Suit hai. It's a collection of applications. Usme, uh, Google Classroom aata hai. This is the basic and the main important application is Google Classroom. If you want to go remote teaching learning, mein jana hai, Google Classroom is a very good resource. And believe me, <coughs> thanks to Google, again here, it is made free for every educator and for more than 90 million educators and children around the globe. Maybe this is an old figure, maybe of the last year. It has crossed this particular figure. More than 90 million educators and students around the world are connected together with the help of Google Classroom. So along with Google Classroom, G Suite contains, you know, applications like Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, anything that you require. If you board, then Jamboard. Hai. आपको ग्लोब चाहिए तो उसमें गूगल अर्थ है आपको मैप्स बताने हैं तो उसमें गूगल मैप्स है आपको आपको किसी को म्यूजियम बताना है तो उसमें गूगल आर्ट एंड कल्चर है सो एवरीथिंग व्हिच इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द कॉज ऑफ एजुकेशन एवरीथिंग दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू एजुकेट अ चाइल्ड और टू टू डिलीवर योर सिलेबस कंटेंट इट इज देयर इन गूगल and being a Google certified educator is definitely a high spirit in, in itself. It's a, a very good self-esteem for an educator. So certifications, ka jo hai, wo Reshma aapko batayenge. Lekin <coughs> G Suit, again, very important. G Suit ke basic functionalities, the basic functions of the G Suits, again, are made free for the schools. Any schools who would like to have G Suit uh, basic or G Suit for fundamentals, right? They can approach Google, uska ek procedure hota hai, wo procedure mein agar usko through hote hai, to they will be getting a complete G Suite, jis mein us, all students and all teachers can participate. More than 10,000 users you can register in your G Suite. And that also with unlimited space, which is, which is amazing. So, mein bar bar yehi bolta hu, thanks to Google ke pandemic mein, Google ne humare educators ke liye itna sab soch ke rakha hai. Or because of this, we are able to do many of the things. Yaar, ye cumulative task hota hai. Agar aaj ek saal ho gaya pandemic mein, pure ek saal Google G Suite mein agar aapne kaam kiya hai, to aapka pura jo learning hai, aapka pura jo content hai, wo Google uh, Suites mein save hota hai, Google Classroom mein save hota hai. And the next academic year, you are going to grow from there. So, the concept comes is grow with Google. So here the concept comes is <clears throat> G Suite is basically for the purpose of having all the applications, needed applications in one particular place. And you just need one Gmail account to access all these applications. Right. So G Suite for education is a very good tool, a very good uh, opportunity provided by Google. There are many premium features also available and for which if a school is willing and wishing, they can go for G Suite for enterprise education or they can go for the paid version of the G Suite. So <clears throat> plenty of things are there. Aap hamar saath jude rahe. Right? Be connected. You know, registration form ka link, Amritsar Punjab GG ka registration form ka link aapko chat mein share kiya gaya hai. Register yourself. There is nothing that, you know, uh, uh, usme kuch aapko karna padega. Aapko register hote to aapko uska updates aega ke we are having these PD sessions on this particular day. And if you are free on that day, just join in for the professional development session that we give. And as, as Ma'am said, Najit said that we are having professional development sessions at every particular time period. At regular intervals we are having. So we also share, uh, you know, skills and know-how about G Suite for education. We also share uh, skills and know-how for other technological tools for the purpose of education. So GG, Google Educator Group, which we call it, whose purpose is to educators to empower karna, future generation to teach karne ke liye. So this is all about GG, this is all about G Suits. I would like to invite uh, Reshma again now to share something about Google certifications.
Reshma, need to unmute yourself. Yes, got it. Um, thank you, Dr. Varya. That was a great insight on what exactly Google Workspace for Education is and how we can learn and distinguish ourselves from other educators. So uh, Narjit asked me to talk about all the certifications, just like in the beginning, we were talking about uh, level one, level two, trainer, coach, innovator. We have a lot of uh, different programs that Google provides for educators. So I'll just quickly run through what they are. And um, we will be taking professional development sessions to prepare you to give those exams. So uh, uh, if we talk about our basic, we all are educators and we all know about these four C's in education. So we always understand that uh, the importance of teaching our students math, English, science, social studies in our classroom. But have you ever thought about, are we really implementing these four C's with our students? Like, are we uh, properly communicating with them? Is there collaboration going on? Is there some critical thinking that is happening in the class? As well as, is there a great uh, creative output that we are getting from our students? So this is the concept behind uh, learning all the Google tools, because we just don't want to be in the classroom and doing all these things, even if you are in your class. But we want to be able to implement the four C's in education in synchronous as well as asynchronous uh, um, method. So just like last year, log, sab log, we were stuck at home. Kuch, hum log ko solution nahi tha. So this is exactly the time when even I learned all the technology behind it. Uh, just for fun, if you go back and see if there was no microwave and you had to still cook on the stove, so uh, wouldn't it be more difficult than having a microwave and getting things done faster? Think about the communication channel that we had. We never had a telephone, phone. writing a letter and communicating with your family would have been extremely difficult. So with time, I think we really need to change. We need to put in some efforts to be able to be uh, able to teach our new 21st century uh, students. Like uh, in one of my uh, uh, presentations, I had said I call them uh, Generation Z because this is exactly where they go. We have to, as educators, we have to learn and empower ourselves to be able to implement all these four Cs actually in the classroom. So Google has provided uh, educator level one, level two examinations, not to test our knowledge, but they provide us with all the free resources. So if you check out the website, Google for Education and in the teacher center, I have pasted the link here. I'll give it in the chat soon. You go there, there are all the free resources to be able to prepare you for that particular examination. So that just means that first you learn the tools and you try to implement in your classroom. So level one examination, uh, like I said, it has a free training. The exam cost is only $10 that is converted into your country uh, currency. And uh, it is a three hour exam. You just have to be at one place with your Chrome extension, a laptop, a camera on to give the exam. Now this credential is valid for the next three years. So you don't have to worry about um, uh, what happens next year. Yes, you will have to update, but uh, the credential that you get is valid for three years. Uh, the best thing is the courses are free. We are here to help you. We already conducted a few boot camps with GEG Pune and Ahmedabad to help our educators uh, learn about all these things. But hands-on and practice is all that we can do. And we know all educators that are joining us today or will be watching later are already passionate. And this is exactly that they would like to empower themselves. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is uh, once you're done with one, level one, I would really encourage go on to doing level two examination. So level two is mainly to show that you have learned things in more detail, in more depth. And then you can, you're able to implement all these things in your classroom. So Paratulia, I know how to send a Gmail. I know how to create a website. But are you being able to implement in your classroom? So aapke subject mein aapne ye use kiya kya? That is where the level two comes in, more in depth. So you get to learn more cutting edge technology and how to use these Google tools in your classroom. Now, once you're done with these two, here the magic journey begins, which exactly began for me. I just kept giving the exams because the learning was so much fun. Like I never knew this 
I could do these things. And I said, oh my God, this is how sheets work. Oh my God, I saw Louis's presentation. I said, oh my God, this is how you connect different sheets together. And when I started using it in my school, my administrators were amazed because everybody was struggling how to do this. So once we reach here, you're done with level one and level two, then Google provides us with uh, wonderful programs that is certified trainer. So for a certified trainer, you have to have done level one and level two. And I would say, yes, your life changes from level one and level two, but it actually changes when you become a trainer. So uh, then we have a certified coach program and we have certified innovator program. So I would again call um, Stephanie and Lewis to talk a little bit about the innovator and coach program because they both are uh, in this program and they are doing wonderful things. So anytime you need help, uh, just let us know. We are here to help you with any of these certifications. One of the things that Reshma didn't say about the trainer about the <clears throat> trainer program, mm -hmm. uh, when you become a trainer, you're also uh, in, you, you're also added to the Google Trainer Group, mm -hmm. that is worldwide, and the Google Trainer Group helps you look like the smartest person on the earth because. <laughs> It's a resource with thousands of people that are really smart and they know lots of things. So if you have any issues or if you have any problem with anything that you have at school and then you'll, they'll ask you and you'll say, well, you know, let me think about it. And then you go to the trainer group and in the <laughs> trainer group, you type the question or you search for the old questions when people have done it and they'll come up with the answer or, or you'll find the answer and then you'll come back and you'll go back to your school and say, well, I can tell you that the solution to the problem is that da, 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 and you are the smartest person in the world. Mm -hmm. And that's the best part of being the Google certified trainer. Plus, mm -hmm. we also get free stuff. And the free stuff is always very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. So, okay. Now, innovator. Um, Google certified innovator is the best way I've come up with how to explain Google certified innovator is you know that everybody and everybody, I mean everybody, don't don't say you're not because then you'd be lying. Everybody is a little bit crazy, just a tiny little bit. And um, the best thing you can do is find people that are crazy like you. OK, Google certified innovator is full of people who are just as crazy as you are. And it's a group of what I call like minded wackos, which is people that are equally crazy and that they are all very, very, very passionate about um, solving problems in education. And that is like the biggest thing that we have to do is uh, to be able to apply to Innovator. Well, first, there has to be a, a, a it opens up by asking people to, to nominate themselves. And we this year, they haven't opened it yet, but we're expecting an announcement. We don't know when, but we're expecting an announcement. And people, all they do is you have to have level two and you also have to come up with a problem that you want to solve. Now, the most important part of this problem that you want to solve is don't ever tell them what you think the solution is. Because if you already know the solution, you don't need to come up. You don't need you already solved the problem. So it's not an issue. So it is very important that you don't that it's a problem that is so big that you don't know how to solve or that you really want to investigate how to do it. And then if you get in, you're invited to the Innovator Academy. And the Innovator Academy last year changed dramatically from last time. And I see my big friend, Jen Hall, who is a New York innovator in my same cohort. And she's awesome and she's lovely. And um, the innovators, you're invited to the Academy. And then last year it was different. But before last year, the Academy was three days that you were stuck in a Google office with 40 or so crazy people. And last year it was virtual. So there was a group of, I think it was 72 crazy people around the world. And it was split evenly all over the world. And these crazy people would come up with uh, solutions. They they faced challenges and they learned a lot of design thinking related um, it, pr processes to be able to solve the problem and to come up with a solution for what they presented. And it is life changing. I mean, it is the best professional development I've ever had, ever. It's awesome. Yeah, I definitely agree what Louise said about the Google Certified um, Innovator. It is amazing. And if you get the opportunity, go. Um, 
fill out the application, get feedback, do not solve the problem again. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about the Google Coach. So the Google Coach is pretty new um, and it is a really great program um, if you're interested in coaching teachers. So what is different between the trainer and the Google Coach is the trainer, it is like larger groups of people you're training on products. Um, so maybe you have a group of at least five or more teachers, that would be probably considered like a training. Coaching is that one-on-one -on -one type of conversation that you're having with a teacher. And so you're starting out with like, what is their problem that this teacher is dealing with? Or what what is their goal? And then you move to like different um solutions that could solve that problem. So maybe if it's like classroom management is like a big issue. Okay, well, could we try um, having students track their goals? Could we have students um, create like a mission statement for the classroom? Could we have the teacher create standard operating procedures? So you're brainstorming ideas with the teacher. So all of this is done with the coach and the teacher. And then you go to the next step, um, which is implementing. And so then you're implementing both the teacher and the coach. And so maybe that's co-teaching and you're going in and you're co-teaching together and you're helping the teacher like, oh, we need to do this in this order or, hey, there's feedback on this. And then at the end of that cycle. Um, All right, Rich. <laughs> she, she's at work, so. So there's stuff going on. There's nothing we can do. It's the same. I'm muting myself because my kids are in class at the, at this moment. So there's mm -hmm. all noise going all over the place. And Stephanie's smiling just so we're we're we're, we're happy about her <laughs> being announced. Okay, sorry. Uh -oh. I wasn't sure if they were going to say any student names. So it always makes me really nervous. So I just mute when that happens. No um, problem. Yeah, so the last step is reflection. And then you do the coaching cycle all again. Maybe the teacher needs like a little bit of a break. So then you would do it with like another teacher. Um, so really impactful professional development job embedded is that difference between the Google trainer. And you have to have 100 hours once you're certified to keep your certification going. With the trainer, you just need 12. So it is a little bit different on how that looks, um, but they're both really good and you get different benefits from doing both. Um, another benefit or the application with the Google Certified Coach is you have to have a letter of recommendation, you have to take the certified test, um, you have to kind of show off your portfolio. And I have a video resource that I did with Global and I'm happy to share it. And again, Global GEG has cohorts of people that you can link to if you're interested in any of these certifications. Yes, that's another thing that sometimes people neglect to mention. Uh, people sometimes are afraid of reaching out all over the world. And the best way of getting into trainer, innovator, or coach is to literally go out on Twitter or Facebook or whatever your preferred social media is and just ask or search for people who are involved in any of the of the programs. And there are hashtags to all of them, which I'll send to whomever is in the backside. And then we can we can show out those hashtags. You just search for those hashtags on Twitter or Instagram or whatever, and you can find all sorts of information. And the other thing is most, I mean, like 99.9% .9 of the people who are either coaches or trainers or innovators are usually super, super nice. And if you reach out to them and ask, I'm sure they'll answer all your questions as long as you're like, you know, as long as it's like one or two questions, not like a list of questions. But people are really helpful. And, and the best part of our community is watching it grow and watching other people get into it. So I'm sure that people will help out no matter what you do. Perfect. Thank you so much, Stephanie and Luis, for your insight. And so uh, probably I'm done from my side. I'll still be here. Uh, uh, over to you, Narjeet and Mala, ma'am, and you guys are doing great. Thank you. Troubles, classroom things happen to all of us. So uh, no worries there. We've been talking a lot about the collaboration, exciting tools, making classroom interactive. Why not see and actually practically do a very interesting interactive activity? I'm sure you're going to enjoy it immensely. So over to you, Mala, ma'am. Thank you, Rich. 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 Thank you, Rich.
you so much. Um, it was a very great day for us being in India. Happy New Year to everyone over here. Okay, so I'm sharing my screen. Yes, it's a, a Jamboard activity that we are going to do. And Jamboard yes. is one interactive tool, a beautiful tool that you can go on, share with your students, do something with the staff. It's a beautiful, beautiful activity. So uh, ma'am has just shared the link. So you can all join this uh, Jamboard and let's see what she has for us. All right. Uh, so my Jamboard is visible to you. Yes. Yeah. So yes, ma'am, it is. Okay, I just created uh, something funny over here, a jam and a board. And uh, so these are the things which you can uh, see. There is a full text over here, which I've used over here. So you have to be creative for this. One has to be creative for a jam board. And jam board is very easy. So I have a sticky note over here. So how to do all these things? So there are certain things that you find towards the net. This is the... I'll use this one. Okay. This particular tool, I'll just give a brief note of this. One second. So let me start from here. First thing is, you will, you will have to set the background for this. So when you click on this set background, you will have a default one which has nothing that you see, just like a board. You have this particular background with the dot. If you click on this, you will have line. And then you will have for the map video a graphical uh, background. And you can have a colored background also. And you can also have your own background from uh, the Google image search. So suppose I want to have something, say I want to have a flower background. So I can just click on this particular thing and set the same background again. Suppose if I say, I will have this beautiful picture as my background. Suppose you do not want any background, you can just clear the screen by clicking uh, this set background and clear this. Suppose if you are writing certain things and you want to clear, you can have this uh, clear button press to be set. Now coming to the first tool, this is a pen. So you have four types of things over here along with some different colors. The first one is a pen where you can write certain things and explain it with your children. It might be math or English or any of the subjects that you see. You can just scribble or you can write anything so that your children can uh, know what you're doing. So there is one more marker where you have a color one. You can use this also. And the third one is a highlighter. You write something and you can highlight all those particular things that you have. So, I keep looking over here and you can highlight it. And the last one is a brush. You can also choose the color of your choice and you can use the brush for this. So, this one is this. And if you want to erase something, you can use this particular key to erase whatever you have done. And the fourth one is because you want to point at something. Suppose I have a um, circle, I'm drawing a circle over here. And then I'm using this one to fill. By using it as a fill, I can drag it to wherever I want. I can, I can just locate it at any place that I wish to have. Now, what about this picture? So this one, you can also load images as I told you. Either it by uploading it, or you can put it from your URL, or you can have it in your Google Drive, or you can have any pictures from your this one. I'll explain to you the later. Now, most important thing is a sticky note. So, we all are very fond of sticky notes. And I can write hi, welcome. So, I can have this sticky note in this here if I press this button. No. And you can also draw a number of images, like you can have a corner, you can have a circle, you can have a triangle. Suppose you want to draw anything, you want to make a uh, this one, you want to have a face with two eyes. Face. Uh, you can have a drawing with two eyes, and then I want to use a triangle for a nose, and then I want to have uh, something, say something like this for the mouth. Now, I have a very sorrowful face over here. 
I will like to uh, turn this one into a very smiling face. Just click over here and subscribe it like this. You can entertain your children also in this. And you can also have text messages. This is Django. You can have certain things like this. And the last one is you want to show certain things in this board, you can just enter it. You can just show that particular poem, this part, what is this thing called? It? You can ask the children in the same. So uh, I have just told you about all the things which are present over here. This is a laser tool that I have said, like if you write certain things and you want to have the noted down, you can use it later. For the next thing uh, that I have created here, that I want to show you is, I have used a Bitmoji over here. Welcome. This one is a Bitmoji. You can also have a Bitmoji over here. And I want you to have a GC also. You can also have a GC from here. You can have it over there and you can just click it to get a GC image. And the four things that they four things that they discussed were collaboration, communication, system thinking, and creativity. This is done with all the tools that we have in So the next two, uh, page that I have is I found this one very beautiful, so I set it as a background and I just said happy birthday. So this thing, uh, I have set the background. Suppose you do not want to have this one, you can just say uh, Background will not be erased, so but whatever you have typed or sticky note was there, it has, uh, I have just removed it with a clear So the next one is, I have made certain things for a science teacher. I have certain things over here given over here. And what does it represent? You can ask your children, you can share this particular thing with your kids so that they start answering this and you can check for, for the uh, part that you can also check and tell them. That this is potassium. You can just drag, you can ask them to drag for the PC. And this is nitrogen, this is liquid, this is carbon. The children can drag all these things. You can use um, certain things. This is just an idea that you can do these things also. So, helium, oxygen, and this is sodium. So, the work is done. The children will be very happy uh, by, by doing this. Audio visual aiding. And this is for the science uh, feature. The next one is, I just have a question for you. How will you make 5 plus 5 plus 5 is equal to 550? So it's a very uh, simple thing. Uh, you can use a jamboard or you can use uh, one more slide for this. I just want to use this one. So I just ask you, what is 5 plus 5 plus 5? By just drawing a simple line, you can just make it to Plus five is equal to five hundred and five hundred and sixty. I do it over here because it will be very easy. Instead of running over there, I'm just taking, I'm just placing uh, the pen, the two. So if it is five plus five plus five. And if it is, it is equal to 560. So it's a very simple way of answering. You just have to use a particular line to use it as 540. I just drew a line over here. So 545 plus 5 is for 560. So you can also engage with students in this by using the gap. So the next one is, you can ask the kids to have a sticky tool over here, color this blue. So the children will choose the color blue and start coloring this one, either with a pen or either with a brush or with paint. So they will start coloring this activity. So they can also use it in this. The same thing that I have asked you, like how will you convert this uh, sad face into a happy face, just click over here and just turn it over. So the children will be happy to give a happy face to this particular um, work that they are doing. And you can also use uh, your jam board and this too. This is a solar system, so you can give the details uh, to the sticky note as I give you the Some of the activities that you can use are, this is a small little for primary children. You can ask them to connect the dot as given in the system. It starts from 1, 2, they can just join the dot 
to give the seed. We can also have the animal. And you can say connect the dots and complete the line. It was so fun. The next one is the children, um, children and the people, they can draw lines to explain or not to explain, they can have a game or session, draw the lines to form a square. So if one child is drawing a square, the other other child uh, can also use this tool to draw this particular size. And the person who is drawing the large square can write their name over. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Mala ma'am. That's an awesome, awesome tool. Awesome tool. And thank you so much for showing, showing so many, uh, you know, things that we can try with Jamboard. Guys, I have already, um, uh, you know, pasted a link. You can all try, you can all collaborate. And in the meanwhile, you know, by the end of the session, we are going to come back to that and we will see what you all you have to tell us on that on that jamboard in the meantime i guess i will uh, take it from here and then give it to dr varia for some further announcements over to you dr varia thank you thank you mala ma'am thank you so much awesome too thank you once again narchit ma'am and here uh, we have a very good announcement to be made for all the GEG members, uh, those who are watching us or those who will be watching the vis this video later. Uh, we have been approached by certifyme.online, uh, which is a startup in India, uh, a Bengali startup. And uh, they are providing some very good uh, certification solutions for uh, students. You know, we as teachers or we as trainers or educators are always in need of some kind of certification solutions. Like, you know, while we are teaching online, then we manually prepare the certificates. So there has to be a technological solution for preparing certification or to award the certificates to the students, those who are appearing online. So here we have a very good, uh, uh, say, offer from uh, certifyme.online and they are providing very good options for certifications for online examinations and whatever courses you work so i would request uh, uh, reshma to please play the byte that we received from certifyme.online and the hello this is jay epen here from certifyme online a digital credential platform enabling educators to automate their credentials issuing process Herewith, I take the opportunity to congratulate and welcome Dr. Narji Bhatia as the GEG's leader for Amritsa and Punjab on this launch date. I'm sure that this forum and association is going to be of immense value to all the participants, especially the given times having opened up a new aspect of teaching and learning using technology. We are happy to have started off our association with GEG as the credential platform. We enable the educators to go ahead and issue digital credentials using certificates and badges that are verifiable. These credentials can be attached to your respective IDs in platforms like LinkedIn and can be further shared on social media channels. If any of you have any events coming up wherein participants like students need to be issued certificates or badges, feel free to reach out to us. We will be more than happy to make the association more meaningful. Please note that this is just not limited to digital certification, but will go beyond that and can act as a huge marketing tool to attract more eyeballs and give you a broader audience. Looking forward to working closely with each one of you. Once again, thank you Dr. Narjit and GEG leaders for this valuable association. So thank you, Sadi Family. And Sadi, uh, thank you, Ajay, for all your wishes. And we look forward to collaborate with you in the future. So uh, we come to the end of the launch session. And this part, I really, really take this platform and this opportunity to thank each one of you, all those who are on the screen, for having guided me and uh, make me come and make me travel all this way and come to, uh, to this platform. And I am truly, really thankful to all our guests who joined us today and shared their wonderful insights with us on certifications and on many more things. And I also, last but not the least, uh, wonderful, wonderful 
audience that we have had today. Thank you so much for joining us. And we are going to conduct wonderful PD sessions in the weeks to come. Uh, please register yourselves. Please join our Telegram group. The links have already been shared throughout the event. Be with us and we have a lot more to share. Not only share, we are here to learn from each other. So that is all GG is about. Learning, collaborating, communicating, sharing, and inspiring each other. That's what teachers are all about. That's what educators are all about. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.